Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our short uh, Timberborn series. So in this episode we've already built this lovely little village over here. We've got the production, we've got the forestry and we do have a bit of food over here as well and water although it's not the greatest it seems we are just about managing to stay afloat. So for this episode I think our main focus is going to be well the science is pretty low so I'd like to improve this. And uh, besides plopping down loads of inventor huts, I'd like to move into this observatory since we have some of that green energy being produced over here. We've got a couple of large windmills and we could always build another one as well. So, to build the observatory, we are going to need some pine resin, 10 of those. 30 gears and 80 planks. Well, also a lot of science as well. But, um, okay, it's going to take 200 power. And we have... Okay, I think we have enough right now. Now, pine resin and science is something we don't have. We are sitting at 600 science right now. We can probably speed up the game as well. And then the second thing to get the pine resin... I believe we need the tamper shack, wasn't it? Pine resin here. And gathered by... Okay, here we go. Got the printing press, but... Oh, that's going to take another 500 science. That means we are nine, 900 short. Now, I guess we are going to have to squeeze him right about here. Okay, there we go. And then Briar does... Oh, you can do maple syrup as well, but we don't have any maples around this area. Maybe one thing we should have done is, instead of oaks, maybe we should have done maples here. Like, I know it gives two extra logs, but at the same time, whilst they're just standing and waiting here, no one's harvesting them, we could be gathering some maple syrup. That's definitely something to think about or consider in the future, but for the time being, I think it's okay. Okay, so whilst this is being built, let's have a look. 130 science, yeah, that's gonna take quite some time. How about those little huts? Well, we do have a ton of logs. So maybe just, maybe we build a couple temporary huts over here, okay? So that's three extra ones. Another thing I'd like to do is I do want to get rid of those small little huts over here. So, <laughs> let's have a look. Yep, we can start constructing that massive building. Do we have enough builders? Oh, no, we don't. Well, I guess the beavers are pretty busy, so let's speed it up even further. Water is starting to go up as well, which is lovely to see. And food, well, we're not too bad. I think the storages for most things are getting a little bit full, so... Yeah, there's tons of potatoes here, but they just they just don't have anywhere to put them. So I was thinking, well, we could also do another warehouse here where they can... Where is it? I'm thinking raw potatoes here. Because that's going to be more... Yeah, one potato turns into how many grilled potatoes? To four. Okay, so essentially we can store about 800 grilled potatoes here, if you think about it. Here we go, another day has dawned on us, and uh, whilst we are constructing, well, actually, never mind, we have done all the inventor huts already, so I was thinking, our next progression, whilst we are, of course, waiting for the science, we've got 315 right now, whilst we are waiting for that, we could also start closing off some of that water here as well, so I was playing around, and we could do something like so, which is not too bad at all, just a few levy pieces, and then uh, double floodgates, the only problem we're going to have is crossing for these guys, so... Oh no. That means you are going to take some more science, but science is something we don't have right now. And I feel I'd rather waste the, um, the platforms instead. <sighs> okay. Well, that's alright. They can... Um... Are you going to be able to build these corners? If I be... Uh... <laughs> Let's have a look. Maybe we might just have to do it this way. Okay, let's grab this road as well. If you have the mod, then you can just control click uh, whatever you want to copy, basically. And here we go. So now they can walk through. I mean, it's not the most efficient of roads. But I was thinking in the future, probably not enough time in this episode. But um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a new district over here. So I was thinking maybe the district crossing section somewhere here. Another district, and that's going to be our mining underground ruins here and then uh, well these normal ruins there as well and this could be where we process all the metal 
Although it could be just the mining and this might have to be the production zone because we also have another set of underground ruins over there. So it might be more efficient if we just mine it here, ship it over. Oh, by the way, do we have the train? I don't think we have the train mod. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I really love the train mod that Tobert, I think it was Tobert that made it. Uh, I actually haven't checked if it's still functional with the recent updates or anything, but uh, I'll make sure to check it in between episodes because it would be lovely to use those trains again, shipping all the metal from that zone, maybe go around, take the scenic route and then bring it to the, yeah, over here. That means we don't have to do the production in the middle. We could just leave it maybe somewhere here. Anyway, so that's our plans. Seems the beavers have nothing else to do right now, so they have already started constructing all this okay so it seems we can automate the the gates as well depending on the flan level yep i think it's all starting to slowly come back to me but okay let's give the beavers a bit more time we've got 600 signs right now i just need another 383 right now okay right so coming back to our living arrangements it seems the building or the triple launch is already done i've removed the the small one from here and uh I've just noticed there's this lovely little... Oh, it's the distance to the district center. Okay, so that's good to know. I guess the closer the better, right? So, um, yeah, another thing I was looking... Once the um, the housing is done over here, we've got nine babies on the way. But only one free bed. Okay, you guys are very quick to make those new babies, aren't you? Now, looking at our production zone, I'm uh, just seeing that the uh, blanks are going a little, a little lower than I'd like them to. And uh, we, we don't technically have a whole lot of stories here either, so it would be great if we can. Hmm. Underground pile. I don't think I've seen this one before. And I wonder if you can build upon this one as well. Yes, I'm thinking this is maybe just like the storage they had up until update 2 or 3. Where you can build it, but then nothing else could go above it. Anyways, let's build this over here and let's set it to blanks because we are going to need a, a lot of them in the future as well. And here we go. We now have 1000 research finally. Okay, so let's unlock you. I think we should have the pine resin. Yes, we do. We're going to unlock you. Can we build this? Oh, you are slightly chunkier than everything else we've built so far. So location is going to be a bit of a struggle, like, hmm, I mean, this will be a lovely spot here as well, but getting the power up there might be a little bit tricky. I mean, then again, we've got this lovely empty zone over here, and you guys, well, it's kind of like in the way, isn't it? And I feel like a science building this amazing should always be built on top of a mountain. Another thing I've also noticed here is I'd, um, I think it would be better if we had a more direct route carrying those logs from the, the logging station here, or the, sort of like a area, neighborhood, into our production. Because right now they're running through, they're going around through the living space, which I'm sure is annoying some of those residents over here, and then running through, around, and into, into construction. So perhaps, yeah, perhaps we could do a bit of um extended area over here. Although I'm also thinking in the future, this whole production zone might be moved elsewhere. Well, that's probably in the long term future, isn't it? And someone can complete this as well. So we can start. Do we have some spare babies? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, off you go. Anyways, what are we talking about? So let's get the science going. Uh, 80 planks. We only have 40. Right, but we do have the gears, which is great, and um, some resin as well. Oh, okay, great. Oh, I see. The problem we are going to have is we are going to have to delete one of those. Okay. And now, <laughs> let's face you this way, give you the highest priority. Another drought is arriving soon as well. How are we doing with the water? Okay, so that's all sealed off. Very lovely. I think the next thing we do is probably go up here and seal that one off. 
These ones are done, so we are all good over here. Okay, lovely. This one's done as well. Let's have... Yeah, let, let's put it here for the time being. We can always demolish... The thing I like about... I think it was in Update 4 when they introduced the... Uh, uh, the rubble into this game, so you get some of the resources back after you deconstruct the building, so... Yeah, I think we can be quite quite happy about this stuff. So in the future, the next things we need with the science, I do feel it's the platforms. I like to get the second and the third level. All right, 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 and then um, <laughs> so food's looking a little sad as well. I do also want to start expanding into here because that's where we sort of produce the food, and uh, maybe some. Uh, let's have a look at those trees again. Chestnuts and maples. Yeah, let's put a put a ton over here. Okay. These guys first. We probably need to keep a road going through this area as well. Or actually, I think we do not. Oh, can't grab those. So yeah, let's do the chestnuts over here. Fill as many as you can. Okay. After that, we're going to do maples around this area. Do we need more of them? Okay, so you're already planting them that's lovely all right well you look at that we already have some beavers producing a ton of science this means we can uh, pause a couple of those huts okay here we go uh, let's slow it down you have productivity 92 93 percent and what did it say is it 10 per hour science let's have a look oh 75 Okay, so that's one per hour. So that's like every, what is it, 45 minutes, something like that, 50 minutes. So that means we can free up. I mean, I'll let the science build up just a little bit because there's quite a few things we want to unlock. But as soon as we have like 1,500, I'm thinking I might pause another three buildings and completely get rid of them. Maybe let's not do this before the drought starts. Maybe after the drought. Okay, so happy with the science. We've got what we need over here. Then, next thing, beaver is injured. Okay, so you go and rest a little bit. Nice, our next plan was... What was it? Okay, yeah, we're expanding the food now as well, which is great. How about you guys? You've pretty much harvested everything. So we do have a pretty big overlay over here, or the over overlap, I mean. And these guys seem to be able to handle harvesting everything. So I think this farm over here is not really in the most optimal location. I mean, look at all those potatoes. I think they focus on this area first, but we have an overlap over there, so we should probably move you over, and that gives us way better reach, it seems. So, another thing we talked about, I don't want to waste too many resources, so let's, um, yeah, let's uh, build those ladders over here. I think they are facing the right way, aren't they? Let's see if they can, first of all, construct them. And if they can, we'll, we'll try to cross over. Oh, here you go. So what's happening now? Yep, they are bringing resources in, which is great. Someone's head is sticking through as well. Okay, it seems we've just about connected everything up the way we want them to be. And uh, here is the same story. We just want to climb up there. Now we can just leave them construct this underground waterway. And I think the next thing we should really do is, yeah... Finish off the... well, not finish off. We haven't even started this. I'd like to start building a dam over here. Not a dam. Some levees and floodgates, I guess. Uh, these ones... well, they're okay. We can always construct or plant new ones. Yes, we can. Right, so how do we want to do it? We are going to climb up there. Little S-curve road through the forest. And then maybe crossing... Let's see, do we have those platforms now? No, we don't, but here we go. Three floodgates, I think that was enough, and a few levees to block the water. Let's just double check. We did have only three floodgates, right? Yep, that's correct. Okay, so the drought has just ended, and I was watching the water levels dropping a little bit too quickly, and then I looked around the town and I noticed I had ticked the pause when the drought starts and unpause when the drought ends, so... It seems the four-day drought didn't really affect... Well, it did have an effect on our water storage or water level. Or the amount of water we've stored in our storages. There we go. But, um, 
Yeah, at least we we know we can survive a four day drought, maybe even a five day drought with 43 beavers. I know this one was still pumping water, so maybe that's the only thing that kept us alive during this drought, which is, uh, you know, a bit scary, but I'm happy that everything is fine. And I think we missed a road over here, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so the uh, progress on this as well. I know it's nighttime, a little dark right now, but we should get the light any second. Okay. So the stairs, or the ladders, are done all the way through here. So that's the next one that's done. And this means we only have three, five, seven ladders left until we have a more direct route through the town, which means when the beavers cross this way, they will also wet their fur. Yeah, so that's gonna be good. And then, uh, well, they've not really made their way up there just yet, but I think that's gonna happen very soon as well so we do have to clear the forest just a little bit more so yeah i'm sorry guys but those trees are gonna have to go another quick project we wanted to do in this zone was give them a slightly more direct route to bring those trees in so looking at this over here we could or we should i think this is where we are gonna have some roads how many planks do we have okay we have a few but not too many so First things first, I'd like to have another production, I'm thinking right about there. That means you are going to need a road as well, okay, lovely, so that one's done. Give us a few more blanks, you are quite full though. I think we're also going to need some more haulers very, very soon. What's the situation with beavers? Oh, we've lost quite a, quite a few and new ones have been born. Okay, yeah, lots of things happening. We're not using a lot of gear, so why don't we free up you guys for a little bit. Let's hope we don't forget to turn them back on later. Okay, well, you look at that. More maples are going in already. And yeah, it's going to be a long-term investment. Well, actually, 24 days, 12, uh, half is already done. Maybe 13 days is already done. That's good. And the biggest project we've had so far, I mean, it's not that big, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite sizable. So uh, the more direct route has been created. And although they do have quite a few construction jobs in the queue, they've uh, not quite managed to get the trees cleaned out just yet. Okay, well, I think we can uh, still celebrate, however. Because, um, yeah, shorter distances means happier beavers for sure. And then having a look... Oh, you guys don't have access. Oh yeah, we're just waiting for those uh, platforms to be completed. Oh, let's get a better angle. There we go. Just the uh, two, three left. But they already have all those resources. So you just have to send the build it bob beaver in here. And off we go. Uh, that meant... Oh, one second. We are going to pause two of those houses. Because we do want the extra beavers. But we don't want to go too crazy too quickly. Okay. So that means you can go. Or do we want to go crazy? I think we do, actually. I take it back. How do we want to construct this? We want to give them a road through this area, don't we? And then maybe hook it up this way as well. Okay, look at that. Very lovely. And what about one of these ones? I think we can double it up. So, oh yeah looking looking very good all right there we go the beaver statue or the first beaver statue is now finally completed i hope it's going to build bring up the uh the well-being fairly quickly as well are you guys stuck oh no you're not you are fine you're just missing logs okay it might speed things up if we started constructing from this way instead isn't it yeah Maybe you guys can do that side first. Let's have a look at this side as well. Nope, they still haven't had time to go up all that way. What's the matter with you? Oh, I think we see that there isn't enough fertile lands over there. Okay, what about... Oh yeah, this side, we could increase the water level a little bit. But no, I think we've uh, 
pretty much maxed out over here so you can uh, you can go thank you so much for helping us out i guess the next thing we should get into is making some bread and that means we are gonna have to downsize some of these farm areas and i think where we shall do it is gonna be right over here yep we got plenty of potatoes growing and we're expanding this over there as well so maybe around this area is good to start thinking about wheat and bread we're gonna have to mill this as well get the crisp mill that means you are gonna need some power uh, and beehives oh yeah we were supposed to do beehives weren't we but we didn't have science before well now we have science question is where can we oh dear it's a little bit difficult isn't it okay we're just gonna eyeball it a little bit first one here one two three one two three so second one i guess somewhere here one two three one two three and here we go three beehives should keep this going a little bit quicker here we go perfect i mean we could have moved it uh oh well yeah i think it's fine it's not like we have a lot of stuff growing here anyway so we're good okay another trout is arriving in about three days i think we are quite well prepared and um yeah we've done actually a lot in this episode we've got the science done so that's bringing in a lot more than we had those dams down over here Ooh, hold on a second bit of a situation over here don't we it was fine all this time so i'm not really sure what happened here but we can drop it down to one to clear it up uh, very quickly now did they start constructing here is that the reason why everything's going going wrong no doesn't look like they have but they certainly have cleaned up quite a quite a bit of this area here something's definitely happened though because this area here was fine for a very very long time don't quite know what's the what's the problem but we are gonna put it back on 1.5 let's see what happens okay it seemed to be fine for such a long time and yeah the floods seems like it's happening again oh well they'll be fine we just have to hope we can get this area constructed as quick as we can trout is arriving in about less than a day after this one we are gonna experience some problems but hold on a second let's slow this down we've got the more direct route down which is great that should improve the efficiency this one is blanks i think we are gonna need another one with that uh, with logs over here i feel this base or this place over here is a bit of a waste but let's do it anyways this one's gonna be obtained we need some logs nearby because we are producing planks uh, you're gonna be obtained as well lovely oh these guys are empty right so we have been using up a ton of logs it seems Okay, it's time to bring back the lumberjack beavers. Let's just make sure we're not gonna cut the ones we don't want to cut. Okay. And I think the rest is good. Yeah, you guys get to get to work. Seems like there's a lot to be done in this place. I mean, we do have the trees. It's just... Yeah, forgot to turn on those lumberjacks. I mean, if we really want to, we which we probably do. Oh yeah, that was another area where we could expand our farming you're gonna be flooded that's okay the part or the drought starts very very soon and we can pretty much cut down everything here as well how far okay you can't go too far which is a bit of a shame but never mind it's a lovely spot here means it's gonna be plant proof as well i think and um yeah okay let's cut this whole whole zone down don't want to leave anything in here get rid of these bushes as well and what's gonna happen is i know we said let's not do the oaks maples 28 and then we can get some maple syrup i think the previous baby dragon would have said nope this is not the land for maple syrup 
but the newer version of me feels like it's it's worth a, worth a try. So um, yeah, cut it all down. We'll plant the new ones. I think we are gonna need another lumberjack somewhere here. And okay, lovely. Trout for uh, six days, which is the double of the usual. Actually, it's not. I think four was the usual, not three. Everything else is looking good, though. Quick recap here as well. We've improved our science with the lovely-looking observatory over here. We've also built this more direct uh, highway or route. We've got the dams in place or the floodgates. I think this one's almost going to be done as well. Oh, you don't have the road. Here we go. So that's going to be the next project over here. And we are expanding into here, doing some more maples. We've got another route that goes through the bottom of this very, very deep lake. Yeah, but at least it's it's got some benefits as well. They can uh, keep their fur wet and uh, all lovely. The other zone we've created here is producing some more maples and chestnut trees. Here we go. A couple of them are popping up now. So we can start gathering some chestnuts and maple syrup in the future. Small improvements over here. We moved around those farms, created more potato fields. And we've got some wheat growing finally as well. We should probably expand this a little bit more. And I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, and we've uh, doubled our beaver numbers as well. I think there's another three houses over here. So everything is looking very good. Yeah, let's uh, carry on with the construction in the next episode. Drop us some ideas as well if there's anything cool we could build in here. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.